In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to find a probability of a normal random variable, how to find the middle 20% of the normal distribution, and how to find the 90th percentile of the normal distribution. And I'm going to be talking about example 6.12 from the introductory statistics book available on OpenStax for free if you download, if you go to this link. All right, and I'm going to be using Excel as my calculator, but if you have a graphing calculator in this textbook, they do describe the step-by-step -step instructions of using a graphing calculator. However, the steps are very similar in Excel and the graphing calculator. Okay, so let's go and read our question. A citrus farmer who grows oranges finds the diameter of the oranges to follow a normal distribution so if x is the diameter of the oranges, it follows a normal distribution with mean 5.85 and standard deviation 0.24 centimeters. Okay, so find the probability that a randomly selected orange from this farm has a diameter larger, larger than six centimeters. Sketch the graph. And when they say sketch the graph, I highly re recommend that you always sketch this graph. Uh, just this, sketch this normal distribution in the center. We always have the mean, which is 5.85. Okay, so what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the probability that x is larger, greater than 6.0. Right, where is 6.0? I don't know exactly, but I do know that it's more than the mean, more than 5.85, so it's got to be to the right, so it's over here, 6.0, okay? All right, and I want to find the probability that x is more than 6.0, so it's this area to the right of 6.0, okay? And if I use Excel as my calculator, or if you use your graphing calculator, all calculators for normal probability distribution functions, they always find the cumulative probability, which is the area to the left, okay? So if I use my calculator, I will find the area to the left of 6.0. So what am I going to do with that? Well, the total area under the curve is 1. So this blue area to the right has got to be 1 minus that red area, which is the probability that x is less than 6.0. All right, so that's what I need to know. I need to know what is 1 minus the probability x is less than 6.0. All right, let's go to Excel. I'm going to click in one of the cells. And I'll press the equal sign. Then I'll say 1 minus, because I want 1 minus the probability that x is less than 6.0. And then I'll do norm.dist, normal distribution. x is that 6.0. The mean is that 5.85. The standard deviation is 0.24, and cumulative, you always say true. Then press enter, and there you go. Voila, there's the answer. 0.2659. If I round that to two decimal places, basically it's 0 0.27. 0 0.27. All right, moving on to part B, we need to find the middle 20% of oranges from this farm have diameter between what two numbers? What two numbers? All right, so I'm going to again, I'm going to start by drawing out my distribution. And in the center, I have the mean, 5.85. All right, middle 20%, that basically means around the mean, there's a 20%, 20% on the inside, or point. 0.2, okay? So that's what middle 20% means. I'm 20% around the mean, okay? So basically, I'm trying to figure out what is this. I'm going to label this as A and B. What are A and B? Between what two numbers, A and B, okay? Well, let's see. How am I going to figure this out? I know that Excel will figure out A and B if I give it if I give Excel the area behind these numbers, all right? So what is this red area? What is this red area? How do I figure out what that is? Well, I know that the total area under this curve is 1, okay? 
So the total area under the curve is one. So if I were to have, so I have this red and this green tail, okay. The total area under the curve is one, then one minus 0.2 is 0.8. So the red and the green tail must have 0.8 of this distribution or 80% of the distribution is represented in this red and this green area. And in fact, this red and this air green area are exactly the same because this point two is exactly in the middle. So the red and the green area are exactly the same. They both must be point four. Point four. The red and the green area both must be point four. 40% is in each tail. Okay, so figuring out what A is, it's pretty simple now. I can go to Excel and figure this out. The area behind A is just 0.4. Okay, so let me delete this. And I'm going to use the norm inverse function. Always for percentiles, you use norm inverse. And the probability is 0.4. The mean of this distribution is 5.85. And the standard deviation is 0.24. Close parentheses and press enter. 5.8, I'll round it to one decimal place, 5.8. So A is 5.8. All right, so now I need to figure out what is B. All right, so to figure out what B is, I'm gonna to need to give Excel, or my calculator, the area behind B. All right, what is this total area behind B? Well, I have this point two in the center, and then I have another point four, right? So I have this point two in the center, and then I have another point four. Well, what does that add up to? Basically, it's point six, right? The total area back here is point six, okay? So let's go to Excel and figure out when the probability behind is 0.6 instead of 0.4, what number does it give me? So let me change that 0.4 to 0.6 and press enter, and I get 5.9. So this number B, this letter B is 5.9. All right, let's double check that this makes sense. Is 5.8 less than the mean? Yep. And is 5.9 more than the mean? Yep. So it makes sense that this range is where 20% is gonna be between 5.8 and 5.9. Makes sense. So let me write those down. Between 5.8 and 5.9, those are my answers. All right, so now moving on to part C of this example. Find the 90th percentile for the diameters of these oranges and then interpret that percentile. Okay, so once again, draw your distribution. In the center, we have the mean. 5.85, and we want to find the 90th percentile, which will be somewhere way over to the right, and 90%, or 90% of the distribution is going to be less than whatever that 90th percentile number is. All right, and let me use the letter K to represent whatever that 90th percentile is. So to find K, we know that the area to the left is 0.9, so that's pretty convenient to use Excel to figure out what this is. So let me go to Excel, type equals norm.inverse, or INV, open parentheses, and the probability is 0 0.9. The mean is 5.85. The standard deviation is 0 0.24. Close parentheses, press enter, and there you go, 6.157, or if you round that to one decimal place, uh, 6.2. The 90th percentile is 6.2. All right, so what does that mean? That means that 90% of orange diameters, diameters at this farm are less than 6.2 centimeters.